Hello, New York. No, I'm joking. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. How are you doing? This fine day isolation number, whatever it is. Um, I think it's 15. I think it's 13. I lost track of time, honestly, so I have no clue. But welcome back. Uh, I decided to actually uh, show you guys what I do for my makeup. And because today is the first day that I actually got some motivation to get out of bed and get ready and um, I made a smoothie um, it is um, store-bought like frozen ingredients but it's pretty good it's avocado kale pineapple and mango with a dash of honey in it and chia seeds and flax seeds very healthy um, so today like I said I want to show you like my little pamper routine so before I start even my makeup which I already used um, Bioderma, this is the for dry skin and for dehydration, and I also put on, this is open, uh, my Pixi Glow Tonic, that's what it looks like, um, just to use regular cotton pads and smurd those all over my face. Um, I shaved uh, my face, like my mustache and my eyebrows, you didn't need to know that, but you know, the more the merrier, I guess. So I'm going to take this oil balancing solid serum, this is from okay this is a korean brand and it's like a stick serum and um it's really good but like it ain't that cheap it's like i don't know 15 13 bucks for this little thing and you don't get a lot you only get like how much does it say six like look at that 0 0.20 ounces so like that's like nothing but like it works it like really works like hiding my oil so i'm not as oily so i just apply this Mainly on my T-zone and my forehead and my nose and then a little bit on the cheeks. So, I'm just going to take my fingers, dab that in, and then I'm going to go in with my Dr. Belmer. This is their facial moisturizer. This is their clarifying one. They have a hydrating one, or it's balancing, I think it's called. But I just take that much and just apply it all over. I'm actually going to go in with my Tatcha water cream. This is just a little sample I got from my Ipsy Glam bag. And I'm going to just apply all over my face on top of that other moisturizer, the um, Face Shop one. I take this matte loose uh, setting powder. This is from Miniso. That's the. I bought it from Miniso. I don't know who actually has this brand. Because it says one on one plus one here. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. So I think it's just Miniso. Who knows? But um, I just take it. I need to go buy more, which I don't know how I'm going to get more because pandemic. But I just take it on like a loose brush and just lightly dab it and stipple it in to my skin. And I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. This is the Tarte Devil Duty Beauty. Um, not my favorite setting spray, but I got it in an Ipsy Glam bag for like twelve dollars, something like that. So, and I didn't have any other ones, so I was like, I'll spend my twelve bucks on this. So, spray. And while we're waiting, I will show you what I use. So it's the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Primer again little sample only because I don't buy this shit. I wait for my Ipsy Glam bag to pick out the, the luxurious stuff for me. So take the primer and wait for this to dry, which it is. And then apply it. I'm not going to actually apply for my foundation, but I'm going to try out this new 4-in-1 um, Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. Um, got this again in my Ipsy Glam bag. This is in light, I'm guessing. I mean, but I see this at my work because I work at Shoppers and I see it all the time. So I know it's not that bad. So let's go. Um, I'm just gonna. Oh, oh god, I think that's too dark for me. Oh no. No, I'm sad. Oh no, 
I think it's too dark. Um, but let's blend it out and see. Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it's a bit too yellow for my complexion. My e.l.f. Concealer, this is a hydrating camo concealer. This is their satin finish. I love the um, brushes on these things. They're so huge. So, the way I go in with this one is I lightly, because it's really full coverage, so I just lightly go in and then I tap my eyelid with this. And then I actually go in with another concealer. This is the Koki one. I think this is light. I don't know what shade this is. But it's the Koki concealer. It's my ultimate favorite. It like matches my skin tone perfectly. So I just go underneath this one like that. And then anywhere I want to spot conceal, this is a concealer I use. So that's what we are going to do. And then again, just blend it out. With the Morphe palette, this is the Always Golden 9A1. And I have one brush that I use as a universal brush. It's the NYX number 16 brush, which is a fluffy crease brush. And then I take the palette and then I go in with these three major shades. So I'm going to actually take this shade. This is the shade Witness. I lightly dab it on the brush and I'm going to just do light swirls. Dab with this shade. This is the shade Aware. So dab it in and I'm going to focus this one just on the outer corner maybe portion and also going into the eyelid. add more depth I'm gonna go in with this crusty dirty Morphe palette this is 35M love this my girl Catherine got this for me for my birthday I don't know if you're watching Kat but I love you um, thank you so I'm gonna go in with this shade it doesn't have a name but it's this like bright nice orange one and I take that all over the brush and I'm gonna dust this in my crease I'm gonna go in with this Pixie by Petra uh, Shadow Stick. It's their, this is in Sunray. I don't know what it is, but it's like similar to the Stila um, eyeshadow things. And I'm just gonna take this and then apply it, dot it to my inner corner, like that. A really nice touch of sparkle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add warmth to my face. So this, I'm gonna go in with my NARS. This is the Laguna and orgasm blush bronzer duo you can tell how old this is because i literally haven't um bought a new one or cleaned it <laughs> don't judge so i'm gonna take the laguna bronzer and this elf brush this is the angled blush brush but i use it as a contour brush and i'm just gonna contour the sides of my face with this Milani baked it has like translucent powder on it but it's the Milani baked powder blush this is in Bellissimo bronze it's this gorgeous um, golden orange peachy blush that I love so I'm gonna take this Luxe Pro Pre precision tapered and I'm gonna dust it over and we're gonna actually use this as also like a bronzer Next, I'm gonna go into mascara because I'm wearing contact lenses. I don't feel the need to actually have um, eyeliner on. So I use the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. Now, I would also use a um, eyelash curler, but I don't know where my eyelash curler went. Um, if someone knows, please tell her to come back. I, She's not in my everyday makeup bag and she's not around my desk, so. I don't know where that bitch went off to, but if someone knows, let a hoe know so I can curl my lashes. 
Next I have this highlighter. Now for the highlighter, I've been loving this Shina B Miami. This is their highlighter illuminator. This is Guava Glow. It's beautiful. It looks like this because when I got it in Ipsy, they actually uh, it crumbled. You know, can I help you? It actually crumpled um, and I had to fix it with like rubbing alcohol and like, you know, smash it and whatnot. That whole hack you've probably seen of coming around. So I'm going to take this brush. This is the tapered brush. This is by the makeup company. It's like a Canadian brand. I don't think they even exist anymore, but um, I'm just going to lightly do it like that. Last step, I like to go in, this is the my with the Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is the one in Fenty Glow. Everyone knows this classic one. So, um, just like to... so this is the final makeup look. I changed into some proper clothes. A proper, I mean, proper top. And then, sweats at the bottom. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is what the makeup look turned out like. guys that was all it for the video thank you so much for hanging out with me and i will see you all in my next one bye